Hello, my name is Maxim and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to create project in Godot, how to use simple nodes and as bonus we will create simple animation. So first you need to download the tool itself. You can go to the browser, type here uh, Godot and click download Godot version 4. So you have here two options, first with .NET and second without .NET. So I'm personally using the version with .NET, but right now it probably will be simple to, simpler to download without .NET because uh, with .NET you also in addition need to install a .NET SDK. So it's pretty simple, you click here, you download the archive, you extract and you have the go dot. So let's start and let's create a simple project. So you will see this window and here, like my existing project, here is the assets library, which I can import, but let's start with creating the new one. So let's click new. And there is the multiple options here uh, of rendering. You can use forward plus mobile and compatibility. I'm going to use compatibility because we are going to use simple sense and it will be much faster. Next, I need to select where I'm going to create. So I have the folder, go dot, and let's create folder called like video one. It will be name of our project. I can select current. You see it's automatically populated project name. So let's not use the spaces. And also it's, yeah, I can use Git or I cannot use Git, like depend of your, like if you need it. Uh, I would stick for now with none. In later video, I will show you how to use the Git. But now let's click create and edit. Uh, let's wait for a minute until it loaded. So here is our go.window. We are going to work with the 2D. You have here options like 2D, 3D, script, and asset library. So I will switch to the 2D. And here is our like scene but we need to create the root node. So there is the multiple, there is some uh, like suggestions and also I can click here other nodes. So our root node would be the world and I'm going to use node 2D for that. And as, as you can see, it has like parent canvas item and parent node. So select node 2D, click create. Uh, usually it's better to rename node to no uh, like what does this node represent? So I call it world. And here on the right side, there is the multiple uh, attributes which uh, this node has. So as you see from node, it has like these attributes, from canvas item it has this, but node 2D itself has this one, which is transform, where we can scale, rotate, and do other uh, like manipulation with our object. Uh, in description of the video, there will be the link where you can download uh, assets to the game. So I created, probably I need to name it better, but I'm going to create folder here called assets. Usually it's a good idea to create folder for everything to not just dump everything into the root because it, later it will be a bit mess. So let's import those. Uh, they were imported not to the right folder. So yeah. Now we have like bow, like some button and arrow. So I can simply take this bow and I can move it here. And as you can see, it's automatically created the new node, which has parent node world with our bow. So for now, I would delete this. Um, like how other way we can add those. So if I click plus, I can create, I can type here sprite and for sprites, I'm going to use sprite to dim. So I can click create and it has a uh, parameter texture. So I can just drag my bow to this one and you see here it is, but it's too big so we can resize. But also it has all uh, other like attributes as uh, because uh, sprite is the child of node 2D. So it has transform visibility and the same as world, like our node 2D does. So how can I resize? So it's simple. I can just click here and I can drag or I can click shift uh, to keep proportions. And 
I also want to rotate. So what I can do, I can go here to the transform or I can click here this button, rotate mode, and I can rotate. So I can rotate it like to be positioned like this and something like here. So now we can run the scene. I can run whole game. I, I can execute current scene. So let's call, let's run current scene. But before we can do it, we need to uh, save it. So I create folder scenes. Uh, let's save it right here. So it started. And you see here is the ball. So our goal is to, uh, like when you click button, arrow will be flying uh, out of screen. So we need to add arrow, arrow, uh, because cu currently we don't have it separate. So like I can, I can just, just drag, I can create here, for example, additional sprite, or I can uh, select this one and uh, on the keyboard, uh, press Ctrl plus D, it will create a copy of my object. And I can just take this arrow and I could uh, drag it here. So if I disable the bow, I see just the arrow. But if I disable arrow, like nothing really change. So let's save. And now uh, also let's create the button. To create the button, we are going to use texture button. And I would call this fire and let's rename those. It will be arrow and this would be, sorry, this one is bow and this one arrow. And also it makes sense to make them uh, parent and child like this. It like really didn't change anything right now, but I, when I uh, disable hole, it, it won't show me the arrow. So now we have this button. For button, we also have the option to add texture. So I can click here and there is the normal texture. So I can select this and drag to the normal. It's also very big and we can try to make it smaller, but it won't work. You see, I, I can make it bigger, but nothing changed because I need to click here, ignore texture size. So once I click here and I also want to keep aspect ratio. So I will select stretch mode to keep aspect. So now I can make it smaller and let's put it somewhere right here because this lines, this our screen, this is what we see. So I want it to be inside of my screen. So let's click. Now we have the button and we have the arrow and bow. What we want to do next is to create animation. And to create animation, uh, go dot give us animation player. So let me select in the notes, I click in plus, select animation player, click in create. Great, so now we have animation player and we need to create the animation. So you see this, when I selecting this, I have this animation and I can click animation, new, and let's call it fire. And now I can animate any of those attributes which objects has. So for example, select arrow. And what we need to do is to uh, change his arrow position. And there is the this key here. So I can click here. So for example, right now, my animation track is set to zero. And once I click here, it asks me if I want to add a reset track. I'm choosing yes, because reset track can be used to reset to the original position. So, and as you see here, there is the arrow, there is the end position. So there is the, another way how to do it. I can click here, add track, property track, then I can select arrow and I can select those uh, properties which shown here. So next, what, what we want to do is to move our animation. So for example, it, duration of animation would be one second. If you need to increase, here is the possibility to increase. I can specify like five seconds and my animation would be five seconds long, but one second should be enough. 
and I move my cursor here till the end of the animation. And now let's just move arrow somewhere. So for example, arrow is flying, something like that. And now it's here. So I can, you see the position change. So Y and X uh, position changed. So original was something like this, but now it's different. And I can click again this key. So you see it's added and now we can play the animation. So I can move it to the beginning and I can click play selected animation. And as you see, arrow is flying. Uh, but we want this to be animation executed when we click button. To do that, we need to create the script. To create script, there is like option I can click here and I can click new script or I can like select my uh, node and I can click this button. It also makes sense to create scripts into separate folders. So I go into create here folder scripts and let it called world and open. So what do we have here? So I can use the .NET here, C Sharp, or I can use GDScript. So in my case, I will use GDScript. It's inherit Node2D because our node is Node2D and it can generate some default template or, or not. If it will generate, it will create some few default methods like ready. I don't need this also. So I can just get rid of this and let's click create. So here is our script. It's empty right now. We will talk about that in the later video. But right, right now we want uh, for when we click on button uh, to uh, arrow to fly. And GovDot has concept called signals. So there is the multiple way how to do it, but it's, I think through UI, it's like the simplest one. So if I click, so in inspector, I can like see all of the properties, but if I click node tab, there is the signals and there is a lot of them like button down, button up, pressed and many other. So what we are going to use right now is the button down. So when we click uh, our mouse on the button, it immediately should shoot the error. So how we can call this signal. So I can click here and I can click connect. It asks me to which uh, like node I should attach. And we have node world with the script. So, and here is the name of the script, which will be uh, of the function, uh, which will be created in script. So you see right now it's empty, but once I click connect, uh, we have this method. So every time uh, we click on the button, this method will be executed. Then we need somehow to play animation. To play animation, we need animation player. So there is the few ways also how to achieve this. So in theory, like something like this should work, but we will receive the error. So I can use animation player, but once I save, I should get the error uh, because the default value which won't return node in the century before ready is called. So we want this execute only after all objects are loaded. So let's remove this. So there is a few way. Let's like first uh, explore the longer way and then shorter way. So I can define the variable here, like animation player, for example, without any value. And I can define function, which is called ready. This is a uh, built in uh, go dot function when executed, when you like start, uh, when this node is, is ready. And what I can do here, I can do here animation player equal to dollar sign animation player. And this, this would work, but there is like the uh, kind of faster way. So we can just delete this method, but let's first, let's try, let's use it. So inside of this method, I can use animation player, which we just created and I can call here function play. And I can specify name of the our animation, which I believe was fire. So now we have, this is 
our code, we define empty variable in function ready. We assign to this variable our animation player and then we execute animation player play. So let's start the game. So if I click just here button start, it asks me uh, like to select the main scene which will be open when you start the game. And I can use current scene because we just have one. So I can click select current. So now we have the bow. And once I click fire, we see arrow is flying. Uh, but let's change animation player to uh, like fast away. So we don't need this ready function anymore. So let me just delete. And I can replace here, but I can add on ready before on ready var animation player. And this will work in the same way. So we can click on the on ready and it will uh, give, us, give us definition what's happening. So you can click on any of the go dot methods to see what's really happening. So it's said mark the folding property as assigned when the node is ready. Okay, so let's back to the script and let's run it again. And it's working the same way. Uh, so that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.